Hello, my name is Andre, and this is my video submission for the engineering design position. And I'm going to tell you about a few of the projects I've done and what project I'm currently working on. So I have built a few uh, robotics kits and which uh, utilize both Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. This is just an RC car, which is controlled by Arduino Uno with an HAT on top of it. And so it also has a camera onto the side. And so this was relatively simple because not only because it came pre-programmed, but also because all the parts that I needed were required. They gave an Allen key and all the uh, wires and stuff that I needed. And so it was just a matter of putting it together. And after testing it, it works. So first I have to turn it on. And you can tell it's ready when the servo motors onto the camera uh, are configured. And they'll sort of jolt into place. And you can, they'll be stiff. Right now it's just moving around. But when it's ready, it'll stiffen. But also here I have my iPad, which is what it controls by. Well, you could have heard the servos moving but now it's fixed and you can't move it. And so when it's ready, it will send out a Wi-Fi signal, which I can connect to onto my iPad. And so once I connect to it, they have an app on the App Store, which is right here, Dinar. When I click that, I should be able to press start and start using it. And you can see the camera on here. It's a little bright, but there you can see me. There I'm waving. And so there's also a record function so I can uh, create MP4s uh, based on the video feed from the camera. And so that's how you use that. Again, it was a very relatively simple project, just a matter of putting stuff together. You can control the servos on the camera to move it up and down. So let's turn this off. Now another project I've done uh, is with the Raspberry Pi. So here it has a simple, similar function where the motor's moving these track-like wheels, but it also has an arm on top of here which you can control. It also has sensors here and a camera. And so this was a little harder. It was still the same because we had to put together all of the components. But what made this more difficult was because the Raspberry Pi didn't come pre-programmed. So I had to actually download, go onto the Raspberry Pi and download the code off of GitHub. And so that required a little bit of Java, but again, it wasn't too difficult. So here, how it works is I have to turn on uh, the Raspberry Pi and the, you can see a light in there and when it's ready the sides will start glowing. So, and so in order to control it it's actually different from the Arduino car because it's you can't control it using a uh, laptop. What you have to do is you have to find the IP address off of a web browser and it should be under the name uh, Raspberry Pi. I can show my screen here too. So here I have the, where I can see all the IP addresses. You can go to connected devices and there should be a Raspberry Pi somewhere here, here. So I copy this IP address, go to another tab, do call in then 5,000. And that should take me to this. And now you can see the camera feed too. And you can hear it moving in the background. I can switch the cameras here. So and you can see the arm go up and down. And if I switch back to the screen, should be able to move the camera.
Yeah, that's basically how it works. And so that's two of the projects I've done. I've also done a project in school. So I can pull up a video of me doing that. They would actually send the parts and we would have to build the project. I can show you a video of it being tested. So the basic uh, function of that project was it should uh, be like a and a safe. So here I have a keypad. And so when you type an incorrect password, the red LED should light up. And so when you correct the type password, which is just the first uh, four, five, six uh, numbers, uh, it should open. And so this is just the LED display, LCD display. That's a, with all the resistors. The Arduino Uno was above. And there was, here are the two LEDs next to the LCD display. And so this uh, contraption is just a simple solution to make the locking mechanism. And so how it works is that with this rotating uh, servo, I can move a piece of popsicle stick it wasn't too sophisticated, but I can move that popsicle stick up and down and that would lock it. So you can see it closes. That's it moving the popsicle stick back into place. So those are the two three projects I've done. I have done a few extra, but they aren't really accessible right now. And so I would like to talk about a project that I currently am doing, which is with this. So what this is, it's a gesture controller. And so how it works is that it has an accelerometer here and a transceiver here. And so this is an Arduino Nano to make it sort of fit on your hand. And so how it works is that this will be fixed onto a glove. And so it should read the position of your hand, whether you're tilting it down, up, left, or right. And it will send that with this transceiver. And so I have, this is only half of the project as the other half is actually a, a RC car, which I can show you a wiring for here. And this is an H bridge. This is the Raspberry Pi. This is the 12 volt battery. This is the RF module transceiver. And this is the motor driver, which will be used to actually drive the car. And so these are the two motors that will move the car. And so I have yet to build this project completely, but I have uh, built and programmed the uh, controller for it which was relatively difficult, but it wasn't too difficult to uh, program though, which I can show you the code for here. So this is how it reads the position of uh, the your hand. And so it was uh, given through a library and uh, an example sample code. And so here it, within this part, which I'm highlighting, this, it will send out, uh, it will print portrait up, portrait down, landscape right, or landscape left or flat. 
And so I should be able to associate each of these positions with the number and with the transceiver, I can send it to the uh, car. And so when it's a portrait up, it should tell the car to move forward or when it's portrait down to move backward. When it's a uh, landscape right, I tell it to rotate right. And when it's landscape left, it should rotate left. And so here I have the uh, motor driver which was pretty easy to program, but yeah, that's all the parts.